What is up, you guys? It's Colson here with another Grateful Dead show review, and today we're going to take a look at the show on April 26th, 1969, at Electric Stadium. Let's get it. Now, before we get into it, this show was a very long show for the Grateful Dead. It lasted for about two and a half hours, which is very long for a concert. To start the show off, they began with Dupree's Diamond Blues into Mountains on the Moon, which really shows how intricately Jerry can play an acoustic guitar. Now, one could argue that two and a half hours might be a little long for a band to play, like nonstop, but not for the Grateful Dead. They were able to keep it energetic for the entire time. And those two songs aren't really the most exciting songs that has ever played, but they went magnificently right into China Cat Sunflower, which made the crowd just go insane. With the momentum created by China Cat Sunflower, the show continues to build as China Cat Sunflower goes right into doing that rag. The first four songs blend very, very smoothly into each other, and it's an awesome way to start off the set. The concert continues to build as the band starts to play the other one for the first time that night. They played it twice. Now for a lot of bands, playing a song twice is kind of like a, a no-no, but if you're a jam band like the Grateful Dead, you can kind of get away with whatever you want. They did lots of non-traditional things in their reign. The other one goes smoothly into the 11, which ends the build and makes the show go calmly forward. Think of the song The Eleven like the concluding sentence in a thesis paragraph. Another pretty cool thing about this show is that Jerry Garcia played the blues with the band in his song It's a Sin. He didn't really do that that much. Part of the reason Dead shows are so long like this one was is because the band just will jam out for as long as they want to. For example, when they played Turn On Your Love Light, they just jammed out for 30 minutes in the middle of the song. When they're jamming out on stage, it's just all coming together, they're just hanging out, having a good time. The jam session basically concluded part one, and then they went into part two, which was their psychedelic part of the show. The psychedelic part of the show includes the songs Viola Lee Blues, Caution Jam, Viola Lee Blues Again, Feedback, What's Become of the Baby, and Feedback Again. The loose, jammy spirit of this concert is why some people think this is the best show from Primal Dead. 